Hey all, hope you're keeping well. I've been checking out a suggestion from a user that commented on my YouTube the other day and that was a method of using Lightroom on Linux. So I'm just going to show you what I'm doing and how well it works and then how I installed it. So if we just switch to my desktop view and if you can see here I've got the Lightroom app installed so I've got it minimized at the moment so this just load it so open that there and we'll just expand that now I've got all the usual adjustments here this is a 100 megapixel file and as you can see the response is nice and fluid and we have all the usual crop and rotate settings, the color, temperature, clarity, dehaze, masking, generative AI erase, and we've got the color balance down here somewhere, I believe. Where's that gone? Here we go, color mixer, point color, color grading. So everything that's in the normal Lightroom that you install on Windows, not I mean Lightroom Classic and Lightroom Cloud that they call it now, are very similar. It's just the catalogs managed a different way. So this is basically full Lightroom running on Linux. I've got my library down here with the film strip view. So these are 100 megapixel files here i've got it uncompressed at the minute because the uncompressed fuji file is 200 megapixels but as you can see it's quite responsive like when i run these in lightroom classic i have to build smart previews because it can lag a bit even on an m1 mac studio which is surprising but this is all being processed on adobe servers as it is the lightroom web app some people are going to love it and some people are going to want to crucify me but the reality is the lightroom web app and the normal lightroom cloud app which you install on windows are pretty much the same anyway because everything in the installed lightroom on windows tends to sync to the cloud so for linux if you are an adobe person this is a good option as you just add your files and it automatically uploads them to the cloud so they're already backed up and then you can just crack on with your usual workflow so there's no kind of barriers so yeah it's for someone transitioning to windows the lightroom web app doesn't really come with any compromises and if anything there's benefits to it because you get instant backup and your 100 megapixel files are processed on adobe service it's more responsive than if you was doing it local so no trade-offs just benefits well there is a trade-off which is that you don't have your catalog downloaded on your system locally but apart from that it's all in a safe place isn't it when it's in the cloud so i know some people view adobe as the antichrist now because of their pricing structure but there's a hell of a lot of people that can't switch from windows to linux because of Adobe so for those that want to stick to Adobe and use this you and still use Lightroom for their photography it's a perfect option because it's installed at the bottom just like any other app and you forget it's in the cloud because it's just like Lightroom web Lightroom. Well, I don't know what to call normal Lightroom now because it's been Lightroom CC Lightroom cloud just Lightroom and then let's just say the one that's not classic so the one that's not classic runs on Linux just like it does on Windows, really. You've just got to upload them first before you begin your workflow. But apart from that, it's feature rich. So that's it for now. But um, yeah, I thought it'd be a heads up because I didn't really think of this. And it running this in the cloud is faster and more responsive than running them in rapid raw at the moment. So anyhow i'm keeping an eye if you've seen some of my other videos you'll see that i reviewed the graphite app which is an open source package that's kind of like affinity and it's just a web app at the moment but that should be released this month so i'm keeping an eye on it and i'm going to make a video on the full 
installable app as soon as it's online so if you'd like to see that please hit subscribe and have a lovely christmas if you're watching this before christmas and if you're watching it after i hope you had a great one so all the best